So today we're going to be talking about somebody who ended their fucking future fitness career before it even fucking began. Isaiah, if you keep up with this bullshit, you're going to end up no farther than my fucking woo back here, motherfucker. Buy my freaking cookbook. What is going on, everybody? Today we're going to be talking about Isaiah Miranda. I've already talked about this guy a couple times, so is everybody else on the internet. Now, basically, for those of you who... I don't even know if I should say it anymore. Everybody knows this guy, for the good and for the bad. I mean, well, for the bad. I mean, what the fuck else do I have to say? So Isaiah Miranda is very well known for the guy with 21 nanograms per deciliter. Yes, this guy has 21 nanograms per deciliter of fucking testosterone, and he continues to lie with Tim saying that he's never taken SARMs, uh, any anabolic steroid whatsoever, and he's a lifetime natty, and he knows his truths, and he knows everything. He's a fucking, like, he's a saint, ladies and gentlemen. He's literally a fucking virgin at this point. But no, seriously, like, I want to talk about this guy because this guy has some tracks that he's laid that nobody's been covering lately. So... As well as the fact that, okay, Isaiah, right, you know, he got exposed for his natty status, and he really pretty much exposed himself to begin with. So guys, long story to make it short, uh, you know, he went to Bradley Martin's HRT clinic, and you know, he works with Bradley Martin, like he, you know, is uh, affiliated with his uh, clothing line, which is, I believe, raw gear, so, you know, he works with Bradley Martin, so, you know, he probably talked to Bradley being like, yo, brother, like, I'm not feeling the best, my sex drive has been fucking low for a long ass time, and I just, I don't know what to do. I got low energy, especially because of the fact that I train fucking two times times a day and oh I, I you know I'm in a calorie deficit all the time and this and that and still doesn't add up to the fact that you have 21 nanograms per deciliter which is not even fucking triple digits of tests which is like I don't know what to say about that but anyways I think what's sad about the whole scenario is the fact that you know Greg uh Kinikyo uh, more police more dates like all these people are literally they're in the best interest for this guy I mean they're fucking helping him out they're they're not like tearing him down like he says they're you know being nice they're fucking like telling them listen like you know your blood work says this and this and that just be honest if you took SARMs and if so you know like why are you not saying anything and then you you know you have my dumb ass over here the guy with the dagger dings who everybody assumes is gay yeah this guy over here you know i also made a video about it that kind of blew up semi you know the first one got a thousand views talking about why he's a liar and then the second one's talking about him pretty much exposing himself even fucking more because i saw something that appeared to look like a SARM bottle Possibly, possibly not, who fucking knows. But I said, listen, like, you might have a pituitary gland tumor. If, if you're, like, so honest and, like, you're not telling any lie whatsoever, you might have a tumor in your pituitary gland. I said that in, in his best interest, you know, because I'm like, you know, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and I'm going to say maybe what it is if he's not taking anything or has taken anything. And now <laughs> we come back over here and this motherfucker, he doesn't give a shit. He made a response that... Oh boy, I tell you, that shit got a lot of fucking dislikes. And rightfully so. I mean, this guy's being a jackass talking about how more plates, more dates, Greg, Kenny Kyo, and like all these other YouTubers are fucking tearing him down and just like being an asshole to him and just trying to make money off of him by making videos. Like this guy cannot be more fucking egotistical than he already is. Uh, Isaiah, I saw a TikTok of yours. Now this is why I'm making this video for you guys wondering why the fuck am I continuing to talk about this guy? I made another video because of the fact that he made a TikTok not so long ago after the whole incident happened he tried to lay low he tried to relax for him because he noticed that he was getting a lot of fucking hate he made a TikTok basically you know talking about how he's going to another clinic he feels like maybe that clinic didn't you know maybe test him right or i don't know maybe he had a fucking bad day i don't fucking know what he thought but so he's gonna go to another clinic and he's gonna go get his you know blood work done again and he's gonna see how true his results really were and to see if they change any different buddy they're not gonna fucking change i i don't know if you have this imaginary mindset like you're fucking brad castleberry or simeon panda or fucking michael hearn you live in fucking la la land dude like listen you're not natty stop appearing to be and trying to act like you are you this is the problem he has the gym shark illness. I call it the fucking gym shark illness. He has this illness where you go so far into lying and covering and just kissing everybody's ass that you start believing your own lies. You start believing in the bullshit that you start presenting to the entire internet. And that is the fucking problem, okay? That right there is where you have to cut things off and say, you have to reevaluate yourself as a human being and say, what the fuck am I doing to myself? But anyways, I'm gonna pop up the TikTok of him talking about his blood work and I'm gonna basically give you, you know, what I'm talking about. All right, I'm talking about the doctor again. I'm about to get my blood work done for the second time. Um, and hopefully the numbers are different because the numbers at the first spot, obviously you guys know, were not the best. And you guys have been loving, I'm saying right now, the internet is a funny place because you guys have been trying to rip me apart. Like, like the comments that I read, hilarious. And, and it's funny because like, the internet's one of those things that like, 
whoever beats you to the punch wins. Like one person says something and everyone's like, oh, yeah, yeah that's true. Oh, yeah. But, blah, 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 blah. Which it does, in fact, do. Do you think I care about what username 7573 with a picture of a of a Naruto cartoon emoji as their profile picture bothers me? Trust me, it doesn't. It especially doesn't because 100% natty. Stand by that. But either way, I want to be, I want to get it done again because I want to actually make sure there's not like a serious like medical condition I need to be concerned about. Because I watched more plays, more dates. Second, a third video about me. There's been a bunch of videos about me. He's talking about how like someone like, had a similar problem that like serious medical condition. So I want to get checked out. Either way, I'll keep you guys updated. Comment down below what you guys think the number's going to be. So basically now he's, you know, putting towards all the hate that he's been getting towards just the general audience that has been watching him and like the viewers of Greg's and more plates, more dates and all these people. And now, you know, he's kind of talking about how maybe he's taking more plates, more dates as advice, right? So he's talking about how like more plates, more dates, maybe said that there was like, uh, you know, maybe a tumor or some sort. And like now he just wants to get fucking checked out, see if there's something really wrong. And he swears that he's fucking natty. And he talks about how he doesn't give a shit what anybody says on the internet that are fucking people that don't even have a profile picture etc which i agree with you on that point but you know <laughs> listen in this situation buddy they're kind of fucking right and as a matter of fact i'm one of the most like comments on that video i said if ripping you apart is telling you the truth then i'm sorry no one told you yet but that's life and that is fucking life pal how are you gonna act over here like oh these people are ripping me apart and this and that like dude you're not a fucking like i like what dude what do you think you are you think you're like a fucking like superhero or some shit that people cannot even like bring up your name dude you know it's really funny because you said the internet is a a really strange funny place right it is because we find motherfuckers like you and then i question my own fucking sanity for god's sakes i mean again you know that video was posted about a month ago you know what i'm saying which is around the whole time that this whole bullshit happened and uh so yeah, like, I don't, I don't know what to say. You know, this guy is fucking, he's a looney tune. I mean, I don't know what to fucking say. You know, I go on his TikTok to see uh, any further updates on his blood work and nothing has appeared. The guy has 366.1 thousand fucking followers on TikTok that I'm assuming most of them are waiting for the blood work to see what the fuck happened. Not a single person has gotten any fucking feedback because this guy, I don't know. I don't know if this was a, a stunt that he performed and said, listen, like I'm gonna, you know, go get my blood work done. Pretend I'm a lifetime natty. He's gonna, you know, use the card of fucking Simeon Panda and Brad Casper. He's gonna pretend that he's the lifetime natty as a joke to get a whole spark of controversy going saying, this guy's a fucking clown. How could he do this? How could he like pretend he's this? But he put a twist around it. He looks natural, but he added a twist to it to just even rise more controversy. He goes getting his blood work done. And then on top of that, it comes back to testosterone being lower than a fucking grandmother with Alzheimer's for God's sakes. Now everybody's like, what is going on? Isaiah, what the fuck is wrong with you? If you look at every single one of his YouTube videos, Dislikes after dislikes after dislikes after dislikes. Dude literally gets more dislikes than likes in every single fucking video. It doesn't matter who he collabs with, what he does. People are gonna bombard this guy until he tells the fucking truth. Listen, Isaiah, I know you're 21 years old. You're living the fucking party life for crying out loud. But brother, what is wrong with you, man? What the fuck is wrong with you? I really wanna know. And I'm not trying to be a dickhead. I'm just genuinely curious because if you can mentally think to yourself that you're natural and i know you fucking believe in your own self that you're natural at this point you've developed the, the gym shark disease so far into your fucking ass that now you're believing in your own lies and it's starting to scare me because it's like why dude like you can you can be so much more better than this bro you you literally if you wanted to if you truly wanted to isaiah you could have been a fucking unit in the fitness industry but you decided to take the dark route into lying, to being a jackass, to being a fucking naive youngster. I'm younger than you and I know better than you, Isaiah. What the fuck is going on, dude? I'm literally almost 19 years old and I know better than you. Now, listen, people learn uh, faster than others. People um, are matured faster than others. Some people younger, some people older. It doesn't fucking matter. This isn't a race. I'm not here to try to say I'm better than you or any, you know, anything like that. But what I'm trying to say is, dude, if you got somebody like me that's younger than you telling you that you're doing something wrong, reevaluate yourself, man. Reevaluate yourself. If it's not Greg that's going to tell you you're wrong, if it's not more plates, more dates, if it's not Kenny Kyo, if it's not the whole fitness industry that, you know, is commenting on your videos, disliking your videos, saying, motherfucker, why are you lying? You got this asshole right here telling you, dude. The two daggered fucking emo wannabe looking like fuck ass.
Come on, man. I mean, if you have some fucking random kid on the internet that's not even in his 20s yet, and that's younger than you, and that's wearing two fucking daggered earrings that looks like a jackass, telling you that you're wrong, there's something fucking wrong, Isaiah. Come on, man. Come on, brother. Really? Really, bro? I don't give a shit if you think I'm an ugly piece of shit or you hate the absolute shit out of me for some reason, whatever your reasoning is, the way I sound, the way I talk, the way I look, I don't know. Whatever the fucking reason is, you can't sit here and say I'm not speaking facts, dude. I, uh, you know, Isaiah, liar, fucking deceiving, like, little youngster over here fucking just acting like he's right all the time and that like, he's a lifetime natty and he's proving people that are much more knowledgeable than him, trying to prove to them that, like, oh, like, I'm fucking natural and this is why, because I'm fucking natural, that's why. Listen, dude, I know I've been picking on you a shit ton in this video, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make you come out, open your mouth, speak the truth. The truth is, is that for those who lie, it always comes back to bite them in the thigh. I just made that fucking shit up and that was, wow, let's fucking do this, man. Holy sh**. Whatever I just said, because I already forgot it and I literally said that shit like four seconds ago. Literally. Whatever I just said is absolute facts. If you're a liar, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass because those lies end up catching up. Karma's real and I could tell you for a Shit, my earring. Man, why does this have to happen right now? I'm over here trying to roast this motherfucker and also give him education and tips and mother Isaiah, I'm here, brother, to give you the best advice. Now, a couple of people have talked to me saying, bro, don't like, you know, make fun of the guy. Don't destroy the guy. Don't hate on the guy. Um, just give him tips. Give him the best advice for, you know, for him. And honestly, the truth is, is that, you know, I do this shit to be entertaining, but also to let out some of the anger that I have on these motherfuckers, because I, you know, like, I, I can just imagine how you viewers, the people who don't really have a YouTube channel who post content on a day-to-day -day basis or a weekly basis, I can imagine how you guys feel. You, you don't express your words, and, and really a comment, just typing a comment down is not enough to just say, motherfucker, come on, asshole, just fucking tell the truth, you piece of shit. I can truly understand that, you know what I'm saying? So me letting out my fucking, like, just frustration and just, like, just speaking the truth and letting my voice out, Having somewhat of a voice on this platform and just speaking it out on here, that means a lot to me, you know what I'm saying? And and that's why I'm saying it because I want to spread, uh, you know, just healthy vibes out here, dude. You know, obviously, you know, I made fun of you a little bit, but, you know, it's all jokes around here, bro. You know, it's all fucking around and, like, I'm just here to be entertaining because I love to be funny and, you know, as funny as I think I am or maybe I'm not. Who fucking knows? Who gives a shit at this point? But what, really what I'm trying to say is, you know, I gave some good tips in my opinion in this fucking video throughout the video. Listen, like, if you're truly serious about your nanny status, then get your blood work done. See what is probably wrong, and if it's so to what you say it is, then all right, then come up with a update saying, guys, you know, I uh, I don't expect you guys to believe me. Um, I you know apologize if I came out a little bit deceiving or if I came out a little bit arrogant. I uh, just wanted to make this update saying, you know, I actually really didn't take any sort of SARM, uh, no anabolic steroids whatsoever, because you know I came back and I got like uh, I don't know an MRI or. Whatever the fuck you call it nowadays, and I examine my fucking brain or whatever, I have a pituitary tumor, or I have something else wrong with me, or whatever, this is shut down for some reason, or this reason is because of whatever, or this is shut down because of this reason, or, you know, whatever. So, you know, you come out with something like that, then that's when the dislikes start dropping, the honesty starts rising, and the respect starts coming. You get it, man? But you just lying and lying and lying. If you're doing this for publicity, brother, not all publicity is good. I know some people say that good publicity and bad publicity is just good publicity, right? It's all good. It's all good. No, it's not. It's not good. You don't want to be known for something that's bad, brother. You really fucking don't. It's, I mean, look at Cali Muscle. Hope the best for you. Stop fucking capping out of your ass. Not cool. Not really the vibe. Not fucking with that. But anyways, hope you guys have a beautiful fucking day. Once again, it's your boy Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And once again, it's your boy Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics. And we're fucking out. Boom.